Hello everybody, AJ Rizek here. In today's tutorial, we are going to take a USB and both partition it and format it via the command line. So no, uh, no gparted, no, uh, you know, KDE partition manager, all from the command line. So you can see I got my notes right here, and I will leave all this down below so you can copy it and make a cheat sheet, and uh, you know maybe save it on your desktop, whatever, in case you need to look it up again. So anyway, first thing we're going to do, sudo su, this will log us in as the root user. All right, so we've done that. We now need to figure out where is this USB located on our computer. So let's do f disk space dash l. That will list all the devices connected to our computer. And this very last one right here, SDE 1 and 2, those are the two partitions that are on that USB. So, and it may be different on, on your particular system depending on, you know, the where the USBs are located and all that. You may have SDK, SDV, you know, whatever. Um, just, you know, kind of, you're going to have to go through here, find it and use whatever the, the the nomenclature is for that particular drive. So anyway, now that we've done that, we are going to want to unmount that particular drive. So I'm just going to copy and paste from here. So you can see unmount dev SDE. Click enter. It is now unmounted. Now, I don't do this every time, but if you want to go and just wipe everything from the drive, you can go and use this shred command and what it will do is it'll do a single pass of either ones or zeros I can't remember which uh, over the entire drive uh, and you know if you want to do maybe two or three passes you can change this one to uh, say change it to a three and now it's three passes um, most of the time one is sufficient but anyway uh, you can go and do that. I'm not going to do it right now because it is pretty time consuming just waiting for it to go and and uh, go through every sector of that drive and, and overwrite it. So I'm not going to do that step but I'm leaving it in the notes so that you can do it if you want. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to use parted which is essentially a command line version of gparted and specify what drive that we want to work with. So once again, parted slash dev slash SDE. Click enter. Okay, so we are now into parted. First, we are going to make our partition table. Now, I'm using the uh, uh, M MBR type uh, partition table. You could also use the GTP. Um, not all systems are compatible with GTP. If you are a Linux user, you're only going to use this on Linux, then GTP is fine. And actually newer versions of Windows, it, it plays nice as well. Um, MS-DOS though, it is pretty much universal. So anyway, we'll go and we'll, we'll do that first. Yes, the device has GTP signatures. And yes, it did have a GTP partition table on it previously. So, yes, we're good. Okay, so now that is done got our new partition table in place and so now we're going to just put a single um, we're going to put a single partition on here and you see we're going to make a primary partition from 0 to 100 percent alright that is now done we're done in parted now so let's type in quit get out of there. Sorry I had to pause the video for a second but I had a couple of dogs that were going ballistic over the uh, uh, the uh, mail truck that came down the driveway. Anyway, 
uh, back to where we were at. So we've got the partition created. We need to format it now. And to format, we're going to use this command right here. And kind of as a translation, it is um, make the format of MS-DOS F32, which is FAT32, and then specify what drive, which is slash dev slash SDE1. Now, if you want to go with a different format, you can do that. I've got a couple of them listed here. If you want to go ext3, ext4, xfat, um, you know, there's there's all kinds of different options depending on how you want it formatted. Me, I'm going to use this again for um, uh, for burning an ISO. So FAT32 is what I want to go with. So I've got that and put in there. Click Enter and just give it a minute to run and boom we're done everything's good to go here let me close that up and that is essentially it um, got any comments questions all that kind of stuff leave it down below I try to get to it as soon as possible and uh, if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and I hope to see you all on my next video thanks a lot